there can be no political interference in respect of the nomination of imminent members to the board and in respect of the appointment of a chairman of the council. You see, members of the board are nominated by their respective institutions. These are religious bodies and other institutions. There is no way that anybody can politically influence the Catholic Bishops Conference to nominate somebody or the Christian Council of Ghana, the Ghana Pentecostal Council, the National Council for um, Christian and Charismatic Churches, the Ahmadiyya Muslim Mission, the Al Sunnah Muslim Mission, Tijaniya Muslim Mission, practitioners of African traditional religion, and the National House of Chiefs. And then the recognized bodies that I have talked about. To influence them politically and say that this is the person you have to nominate and bring to us. No. Then when it comes to the appointment of the chairman, the president doesn't appoint the, the Constitution says that per the, um, the Act says that per Article 70 of the Constitution, he appoints. But in fact, what happens is that it is the board that will elect. And if we have a minute here of the processes that we went through in terms of the election. Once the person is been elected without influence from any quarters, the president by inaugurating that board, is deemed to have appointed them to office. So that is the case. Um, there is no such a thing as political interference, as far as we are aware of. You will notice that when the board um, was inaugurated, among the names was the name of Professor um, Emmanuel. Marty, because the Christian Council had nominated him and nobody had removed his name from the list of the membership. In fact, the day that we met to elect the um, chairman of the council, he was to have been part of that. What happened was that two of our members were absent. One was absent by, with apology. And that is Bishop Sir, he had traveled. Professor Marty was absent because we didn't receive any um, apology from him. And he stated in the minutes, we did the election. Two people were nominated and seconded. At the end of the day, one person emerged as the elected member who the council had elected to be the chairman. And that was conveyed to the president through the Ministry of Interior. And so when we went for the inauguration, it was these people who were inaugurated, including Preservati. It was later on that the same Christian council that nominated Professor Mate brought us a letter to say that they had nominated the current chairman of the Christian Council, um, Reverend Dr. Edu Jemfi, to, um, to replace Professor Marty. That is their prerogative. It is the Christian Council that has the prerogative to nominate or to decide that, no, we want to bring this person. How, why they did that, I'm not in a position to to tell you.